Hi, my name is Misty Eyes and I am a drag queen female impersonator illusionist in South Florida and I want you to know that it gets better. Something you may not know about me is I'm the son of a minister and I grew up in an extremely religious family. My dad was a pastor and I'm the oldest of seven children. I became a youth minister, a church camp counselor, and I was an overseas missionary in Poland and Germany. I went to a very religious college called Oral Roberts University. And at this college, my senior year, I was really struggling with my homosexuality. I've known that I was gay since I was nine years old. And I fought these demons. Because to me, I thought they were demons. And I fought these demons, and I fought this temptation, and I tried to force it away. I tried to force myself into heterosexuality. I got engaged to be married three different times. And finally, my senior year of ORU, I thought that no matter what I did, I could cry my eyes out at the altar praying that Jesus would deliver me and take these demons away from me. And he never would. And my senior year of ORU, I was extremely suicidal. And I felt that I couldn't go on. I felt that God hated me. I thought that my family hated me. I thought that all the kids at my school hated me. I thought that all the people in my church hated me. And I thought that everyone I knew in my world hated me. And I am so glad that someone reached out to me and told me, it was a minister of a church, they reached out and told me, God doesn't make mistakes. God created you in His image because He has a plan for your life. And you've been praying that He delivers you, but He's not going to because you are the way that He wants you to be. And you're going to touch people's lives and you're going to change people's lives and you are going to be amazing. I sat in that preacher's office for four hours crying my eyes out, but I'm still here today. And watching the news and watching the Facebook and YouTube posting, reading and seeing that people have ended their life because they thought that it was over, that it was it for them, and that there was no hope. I want you to know that there is a lot of hope. The people that you go to high school with, the people that I went to high school with, the really hot guys that I went to high school with, the football players and, and the, the super amazing guys that I had crushes on, are now fat and ugly and the weird thing is that the nerds and the the kind of geeky people they're now hot and it's so weird that how time changes everything my senior year was the class of 1994 and now it's 2010 it's been what is that 15 years since high school and I've seen maybe five or six of the people I went to school with and when I tell you that their opinions don't matter, I mean it. The people that make fun of you in high school, they make fun of you because they feel stupid. They feel nerdy, or they feel shy, or they feel insecure, and they are embarrassed. So they look at the other kids in the school bus and they're like, oh, well, if, if I make fun of that guy over there, or that girl over there, and if I make everyone laugh at her, no one's going to laugh at me. And they bully you out of their own insecurities and their own weaknesses and their own fears. What I'm telling you is, it gets better. I promise you. It gets better. And you're going to grow up and you're going to become the strong person, the amazing person that you're intended to be. And you're going to look back and you're going to laugh. Are you kidding? I only wish that I knew back in school what I know now, I would be such a different person. I would be so different. I want you to know that it gets better. I promise you, it gets better.